iOS 11 has just been released to developers at this year's WWDC keynote. And while Apple showed off a ton of new features, there simply wasn't enough time to talk through all of them. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best new iOS 11 features Apple didn't mention. Let's get started. The screen size of iPhones keeps getting bigger, but our hands can only take so much. It appears that Apple has a couple of new features that could make it easier to use our iPhone with one hand, including a new keyboard that puts all of the keys within reach of one finger. To enable it, press and hold on the emoji key to reveal the two new layouts. The keyboard will then align to either the left or right of the screen. If you wanted to record your iPhone screen in the past, that meant plugging your iPhone into a Mac that runs QuickTime. With the new update, iPhone users can cut the cord and record straight in iOS thanks to the new custom choices within the control center. To add it, just head to Settings, Control Center, and hit the Add key next to Screen Recording. Once added, there's a new button to record, which is much easier than the previous method, and it stores the video straight into your camera roll. While this next tip isn't awesome, I thought it was worth telling you about. With iOS 11, Apple is removing integration from Facebook and Twitter, which basically means your iPhone will no longer store passwords for those services. While it's not the end of the world, it may mean that you're spending a little bit more time typing in passwords. The App Store isn't the only iOS app getting a fresh new user interface. Apple is bringing big changes to the podcast app too, making it look similar to Apple Music and Apple News. The bold text and clean layouts make it more enjoyable to search for that next new podcast. If you saw my hands-on with iOS 11 video, you may have already seen the smart invert feature, which acts almost like the much desired dark mode. Within general accessibility and shortcuts, there's a new Smart Invert feature, which has been refreshed to be even darker and look even cooler. So if you're after a dark mode, this is the closest you can get for now. The next time you visit a friend's house, only to find they've got an annoying long password, there's a new Wi-Fi sharing feature that will notify you when a visitor would like to join your network. Although, as you can see, it doesn't quite work for me just yet. Apple mentioned that users in China will be able to scan QR codes with the camera app. And while it works here in the UK, it doesn't always take me to the correct, or if any, website. Don't want to wade through Apple's endless list of news stories? Well, there's a new Spotlight tab in the Apple News app to make getting into your fix much quicker. As well as new screenshot previews, there's also new markup features to make it easier to annotate. You can crop, draw, and share straight from the new screen, and once you've sent it to one of your contacts or shared it online, you have the option to delete the screenshot straight away. If you're a stickler for organizing apps on your iPhone, you can now do it even quicker thanks to drag and drop. You can drag one app as you usually would, and then tap others that you'd like to move with it to a different location. You can also use this technique to add them all to one folder by doing the exact same thing, but dragging to a folder instead of a location. This makes it a whole lot easier to organize your apps instead of moving each app separately. Don't want to talk to Siri? Well, now you can type to her instead. A new accessibility feature in iOS 11 lets you type queries to Apple's digital assistant. Head to Settings, General, Accessibility, and scroll down to Siri. Then enable Type to Siri. This is great for people that have speech impediments or an accent that Siri can't quite understand. Well, that is it for this video, but let me know in the comments section down below if you've come across any iOS 11 features that we may not have seen. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.